Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to start a series today on Windows Phone 7, an in-depth review of each little tile or app. So the first thing we're going to do is look at messaging. But I did a video where I kind of compared Windows Phone 7 Mango and iPhone OS or iOS 5 and compared the two and kind of just showed generally how they're used overall. I got such a positive response from that, I thought we'd do an in-depth series on each one of the tiles. Uh, there were some things I didn't show on the other video, and like this, the apps here. But we're gonna go into messaging today and take a look at how this works in depth. So let's go into messaging. There we go. And people seem to genuinely be interested in Windows Phone 7 now that Mango has come out. So see, it says connecting. What it's doing is it's connecting not just to text, but it's connecting to Facebook. And what we have down here is a few options. So I'm going to show you those. Let's go ahead and slide up the drawer here. We can create a new message. We can change our status and we have settings. So let's go ahead and go to status and status is your Facebook status. So available, busy, away, appear offline or offline. This is tied directly into Facebook. So what happens when you have a Windows phone is people see that you're online on Facebook constantly or offline, depending on how you set your status, and it's all in the messaging tile. Let's go ahead and hit back. We can go to create a new message. We can type in a phone number or add from our contact book by hitting the little plus here. It switches and here's all my contacts. And we can do a search by, of the contacts by hitting search. We can or we can just go back and put in a phone number. To type, we hit the, obviously we hit in here and type our message. Let me go ahead and turn the volume up because this has some really nice sounds. It's so one thing people overlook a lot of the time is the sounds in different devices. iOS is pretty good, it's pretty noticeable, but Windows Phone 7 is just as good in that respect. So let's go ahead and type a message. Uh, we'll go back though and type a message to somebody that's actually here. We'll go to my brother, Zach. And you can see everything is arranged kind of in a thread, kind of like an iPhone in that respect. If we want, we can type uh, in landscape as well. You can see that. We'll rotate it back though. I like to type in portrait mode. Let's go ahead and say, uh, I'm. Oops. Um, texting. Text me back. Okay, so here's the message. As you saw, it was auto-correcting as I was going through. Now, auto-correction is something that either drives you nuts or works really well. I find that on Windows Phone 7, auto-correct works better than any other phone, and I've been an iPhone user myself for a long time but the autocorrect seems to be phenomenal on Windows Phone 7. So as you saw, I was just typing, it was correcting, I did have to backspace a couple times, and it lagged a moment, but this is a one-year-old phone, and it doesn't lag any more than any other phone uh, in, its, in its speed. So it's really quite fast, and usually is faster. So if we want to send a message, well, as you can see here, it says back. I can hit background, and it will auto-complete that. I can scroll, and I have some other options that it thinks I might be texting or typing. I've also got some options in the keyboard here. And here we have a send button, we have an attachment, voice, or here I can go and text mobile or text Facebook. He's not online on Facebook, so we'll go ahead and send it to mobile and we'll hit send. When it comes in, we should see a notification at the top if we're in another application doing this. Uh, it should pop up here. It may take a moment for him to text me back. So we'll go back into the message and we can add an attachment and we can pick from, we'll pick some from some saved pictures. Here's a wallpaper I got. Here's a picture. And you can see I did a terrible job there. So I'm just going to backspace. Okay. Here's a picture. I can send or delete the picture or I could text with my voice. Go ahead and send. So as you can see, there's the picture. I was doing a review. I asked him to text me back. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, we can also say, Say your message. How are you doing today? And it will type it right down in there very quickly. Uh, and it works great. If you're hooked up to Bluetooth, it will read it back to you. If you have your, so it depends on how you have your settings. And we'll check the settings in a moment. But we'll go ahead and do that. 
We'll go home. Let's check our settings that we have here as well. Bluetooth and status would be on if we had Bluetooth and then you'll get some options if you have Bluetooth connected. We'll turn it off for now. And it will allow you to text how you would like to text and we'll read them back as you're, as you're in the car driving. It will read it back and you can reply all by voice. Very similar to uh, what Apple is touting for Siri. Uh, this has actually been doing uh, for a little while with Mango. So he hasn't texted me back yet, but I think you get the idea of how the texts come in. You can see this is the Mango color theme. So you can see here I said Forza, he wanted to play and his texts are slightly uh, brighter uh, shade of orange, or it kind of shows mine as brown. So these are mine, those are his. The only thing you can't do for some reason is attach a video. I'm not really sure why it, why it doesn't do that, but we can go right into the camera here and I'll show you that. The video button is grayed out, and you can't send a video via MMS, and I'm not really sure why they do that, uh, but it's the only one downfall I've seen on Windows Phone 7 as far as that goes. So overall, the texting is fantastic on this device uh, and allows you to have all these threaded conversations. This is my, my wife. This is another friend. You can see they all look similar that way. And we just hit back and we can go to the other conversations we have on the phone. And it will come in when we're just using the phone regularly, checking email, and it will pop a notification at the top. Just like that and will tell us our who's, you know, say hello or something along those lines. It's really a fantastic text me, uh, texting application and uh, is really something that Windows Phone 7 does well with Facebook integration. If you have any questions or, or have any tips that maybe I didn't show in this video, please post them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please go ahead and do that. Check back for more in-depth reviews of Windows Phone 7 Mango. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.